Hey, what is up guys? I've got some really awesome car projects coming up very soon, but in the meantime, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. So today I'm going to be responding to a lot of the emails that I get about how I do the intro animations at the beginning of my videos. So today I'm going to take you through step by step how to do that in After Effects. If you don't have After Effects, you can download the free 30 day trial right here. And I'm also going to leave a link to this exact project that I'm doing so you can open it and you can follow along with me if you want to. But anyway, this is super easy. I'm giving you all the tools right now to do this project. No excuses. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, well let's start off by just opening up After Effects here. Do a new project. And then composition. New composition. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it at comp1. Then our size 1920 by 1080 that looks good frame rate 30 frames per second and the duration is five seconds which is cool so let's click ok on that so now we've got our composition here um, first thing that we're going to do is set the background color so to do that we're going to go to layer new oops, solid and let's pick a nice blue color bmw blue i guess what it was before was pretty good so let's click OK, and now we've got our background layer here. So let's lock this, that way we don't accidentally mess it up, and now let's bring in our logo file. So I made this logo earlier today in Illustrator. We're just going to do File, Import File, BMW Logo, and whenever you import anything, it's going to show up in this project window. So we've got our logo here, let's just drag this into our layers. And it looks a little bit big, so we're going to set the scale to this and make it a little bit smaller. We'll go transform, scale, uh, let's try 80%. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good there. So in order to animate this, what we want to do is, uh, let's go forward 10 frames on our timeline here. You can either drag or you can hold shift, page down, it'll automatically move 10. And we're going to set this little stopwatch on the scale because we want it to finish at 80%. So let's click that stopwatch. Now let's go back to the beginning of our timeline and we'll add a keyframe here and we'll set this keyframe to zero. So now it's going to grow from zero to 80% just like that. Alright, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to add our text. So let's go ahead and lock this up just so that we're not messing with it. And we're going to grab our text tool here. And I'm going to type BMW videos. And uh, let's make this bold. Just because I think it looks a little bit better to have a little contrast there. So now we've got our text. Let's center this. Um, we're going to go to align. Horizontal center alignment, just go ahead and click that. So now we've got it perfectly centered under our logo. So now to animate this text so it slides in. Um, our last animation finished at 10 frames. Let's advance to 20 frames. You can either drag it or you can hold shift page down. Go ahead another 20 frames there. Um, let's open our transform tools here and we're going to click a stopwatch for the position. And now we're going to go back 10 frames, because this is where we want it to end up. That's why we put the keyframe here. So now let's go back, and we want this to kind of slide in from the right here. So I'm just going to click and drag, and move this out of the way. So now we've got kind of this sliding in. So this is what our animation looks like so far. Alright, but that's not very cool because when it starts off, we just got this text just kind of hanging out on the side here. So, we're going to actually do a mask to have this look like it's just appearing out of nowhere. So, in order to make a mask, we're going to go where the text finishes animating here at 20 frames. And we're going to go grab our rectangle tool. And let's make a nice rectangle right above the text here. Happy little rectangle. And um, you can see that the text is still there underneath it, the layer under it. Now to make this into a mask, you're going to go down to here to the toggle switches and modes, click that, and then on our text layer, find the track mat and set it to alpha mat shape layer 1. 
So now that text is going to slide in behind the mask and it's going to look like it's appearing. All right. But one thing that I don't like about this is I don't like how sharp this edge is here on the mask when it comes in. See how that's like a really harsh line? I don't really like that. So to fix that, I'm going to actually turn the mask back on just so you can see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to go to my effects and presets and we're going to type Gaussian blur. And let's just add this to our shape layer. And for blurriness, we're going to set it to, let's say, 15. Okay, so now you can see it's kind of got this gradient on the edge here, which looks a lot nicer. You can see here when I um, turn the visibility off, see now that that text has a little bit of a gradient and it just looks more finished that way, I feel like. All right, and then there's one last final finishing touch that I want to do to really um, kind of give that that finishing look here and that is to turn the set the toggle switches back to what it was before and now we're going to add a motion blur so you're going to click this what looks like a little bouncy ball here click that to turn it on and enable motion blur for all your layers and then we're going to click it on for our text and also for our logo so now as these are coming in it actually looks like they've got some speed All right, and then there's our final animation. All right guys, well if you enjoyed the video or you wanna see more of these types of videos, learning how to do stuff in either Adobe Premiere or After Effects, please leave a comment, let me know. I would be more than happy to do more of these videos for you guys. But anyway, like I said, more car stuff coming up very soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.